Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I just spent two hours on FaceTime with a bunch of my friends that like I haven't seen in way too long and I filmed a video, I did that, and now I'm trying to film my second video and I'm completely lost. Today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite masks and I've actually broadened the term mask to apply to any like one-off, once-a-week type treatment. There are some exfoliators in here, there are some actual masks, there are some sleeping masks, there's a whole bunch in here. So we're going to be going over like my top products. I have like 12 products to go through or so. There's a lot here. But we're going to be going through things for pore refinement, things for mattification, things for exfoliation, hydration, everything under the sun that if you feel your skincare routine is lacking a little bit, these are products you can introduce to really kick it into the next gear and add a little more of whatever you're trying to achieve, whether that be pore refinement, decongestion, exfoliation, hydration, and anything in between. So if that's something you're into, make sure to keep on watching. And please don't forget to subscribe because I upload three or so times a week. And that's going to be the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you want to see all of the products we're going to go through today, stay tuned. Okay, so I did break it into categories, and when I laid them out in these categories, it made sense. If it doesn't now, sorry, <laughs> but first product I'm going to jump into are going to be the exfoliating treatments. So the first one is going to be from Drunk Elephant. It is the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. It is a 25% AHA, 2% BHA. This is meant to be used once a week. You apply a thin layer to your entire face, you leave it on for 20 minutes, and then you wash it off. This is going to, once you rinse it off, reveal like super glowy, youthful skin. The whole purpose of this product is to basically melt off the dead skin on your skin to make it a little more glowy. It'll help with dullness, even skin tone and texture, and really just a deep exfoliating mask. This is what I would consider more gentle of the two I'm going to talk about, um, but it is definitely strong. So if you don't exfoliate, I do not recommend this being the first product you jump into when you're ready to start exfoliating, I would start with something a little more gentle and build up to this one. And if you find the TLC once a week is still a little shy of what you want, then I would consider picking up the clinical grade resurfacing liquid peel from Dr. Dennis Gross. It is a two-step program. I did a whole video on this that I will try to link up here, but it is a basically a chemical grade or a professional grade chemical peel that you can do at home. You take step one, you soak it on a cotton round, you massage it on your skin, and you leave it for two minutes. Then you do the same thing with step two. Step one is going to be your super intense exfoliating compound, and step two is going to be an anti-aging neutralizer that's going to stop the chemical reaction on the skin and neutralize it so you don't give yourself a chemical burn. Again, I don't recommend jumping off the deep end and using these as the first exfoliating products you ever use. I would definitely build your way up. I did recently do an entire video on exfoliators, which I will link right here, and you'll get an opportunity to talk about all of them. And if after that, and you've used those and you've gotten used to it and you find your skin is still a little dull and you want something a little bit even more powerful or potent, then I would jump into one of these. So because we're talking about exfoliating, next I'm going to go into hydration. And these are going to be the two products that I recommend putting into your routine. If you do a deep exfoliator like this, I always follow it up with these two products at night because it adds that hydration back in since we just stripped our skin. So it's going to help to calm and soothe the skin out. And they are the Sleeping Care Laneige Water Mask combo. So this is the water sleeping mask for face. This is the eye sleeping mask for under eye. This honestly just looks like a jelly moisturizer. I know it comes in a lavender scent as well, but I have the original. And this one comes with a little ball applicator that you roll on and then pat in. Both of these are really just concentrated hyaluronic for deep additional hydration on top of your moisturizer and eye cream. You will want to use these in conjunction with your existing products. This is not a replacement, it is an additive. So anytime I go in with a super intense exfoliating treatment, I always make sure to follow up with this because a lot of times when you add that chemical to the skin, it will strip a lot of that moisture and hydration out. Again, you're putting chemical exfoliants on your skin, you have to re-nourish the skin. So that's where these come in. Uh, the next series of products are all going to be masks. Now I'm going to kind of skip over the first two because I recently did a video talking about both of these. I did a whole video on refining your pores, minimizing the appearance of pores, and I spoke about both of these in depth, but they are the Ola Henriksen Balance Cold Plunge Pore Mask 
and the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor. Check out that video for both of these, but they do minimize the appearance of pores, decongest them, shrink the visibility of your pores, and help to smooth out the skin. Uh, I did also in that video mention the Sephora Zinc Mask, which is a dupe for the Glam Glow Super Mud. Either of those, same thing, acne prevention, decongestion of your pores. Uh, the next two masks I'm gonna talk about come from Kypris Beauty. They are the Deep Forest Clay and the Cerulean Mask. The Deep Forest Clay is a detox exfoliating mask, uh, very similar to the Glam Glow Super Mud. However, with this one, I do find that it is a little bit gentler, for lack of a better word. Um, the other two are gonna decongest the skin, but if you are more on the dry side, it might be too much for you. I think the Kypris will be better if you are on the drier side. You still want to exfoliate, you still want to decongest your pores, but you want something a little more gentle than the Glam Glow. If you're oily, Glam Glow 100% is the way to go. Uh, I've said on my channel before, I have very oily skin. However, since moving to Florida, I've noticed I'm a little more normal. I still get a lot of oil right here in the T-zone, but it's not as bad as it was when I was living in New York. So I actually find that this one does a lot more for me on the perimeters of my face, but I still do concentrate the Super Mud or the Sephora Zinc Mud right on the nose and right between my brows. The Cerulean is actually a hydrating recovery mask. I put it in the same category as the Laneige sleeping mask. However, I do find that this one is a little more soothing. This one is more strict hydration. So you will get hydration out of this one, but it's also gonna help with redness and ir irritation and inflammation. That being said, it is also, it smells decadent and it is so like spa-like when you put it on. It is straight luxury. It is a little bit of a higher price point though. So whereas the sleeping mask, I believe is only $25, the full size of this is closer to like 60, I believe. I will link everything down below and I apologize if my prices are way off. I'm gonna be completely honest. A lot of this came in PR and the items I did buy, I bought so long ago, I can't even tell you how much they were. Uh, the next category is gonna be in that same sleeping mask mentality and they are both from Glow Recipe. It is the Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask for face and eye. So I use these like two to three times a week when I'm not using these. Again, you don't need to use them every night. You don't even need to use them every other night. They're meant to be like weekly or even bi-weekly treatments, but I love the way these make my skin feel. I've mentioned them in a video in the past where, you know how sometimes when you try a new product, you put it on and it just feels nice? This is one of those products where I put it on and the next morning I got so many compliments on my skin. Like I hate to use this phrase because it makes me date myself, but it hits different. Like your skin care, when you use these two products, you go to bed feeling like, oh my God, my skin is so smooth. And you wake up the next morning and you feel the results. I have not found a skincare product that was so instantly effective as these in so long. Glow Recipe killed it with these. Now they are a little on the thick side and they do take a little bit of like getting used to for the texture, but you take a tiny amount, apply it to the skin, smooth it over, and you will feel that like instant slip. I definitely say with every retinol product, and I will continue to say with every retinol product, you need to make sure you are using sunscreen even if you're staying indoors. Computers have blue light defense, so uh, blue light, so does our cell phones. There are UV lights coming in from the window, so even if you're on quarantine and you're staying inside, Public service announcement, make sure you're still using sunscreen. That goes triple if you are using any form of retinol product. Photosensitivity is the easiest way to scar your skin and cause long-term irreparable damage. So if that's the case, make sure you are following up with your SPF. And the last I'm gonna talk about are gonna be sheet masks. Now I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to sheet masks, I'll use anything and try it. Some I find are more effective than others. Some of them, like the Tatcha ones, super expensive, super bougie. Yes, they're great, but I don't necessarily think they're worth the, you know, $12 to $14 a pop for one use. So I'm not going to lie. I use a lot of, like, no-name brand type masks just because that's what I have. Um, my best friend went to China about a year ago, long before any of this travel ban started. So she is... 100% healthy and on quarantine, and I'm grateful for that. But she did bring me back a shit ton of Chinese sheet masks, which I love and I use those a lot. Not really a brand that I could track down easily and get. If I'm in the States and I am looking to purchase a mask, I love the Sephora sheet masks. Now, first off, they're always on sale and it's like buy three, get one free. 
they're between four and six dollars I believe like five dollars is a good price point and they come in a million different flavors um, the three that I like the most the uh, green tea for mattifying and anti-blemish this is Brandon's favorite this is lychee for hydration and brightening and this one I bought so many of this fall because it was limited edition it is pumpkin for hydrating and nourishing. This smells like a pumpkin spice latte, but these are my three favorites. They have rose, they have pearl, they have coconut, which I don't love on my skin. They definitely have options, and in the top, it'll tell you what all of them do, but they are super affordable, super easy to use. They work beautifully, and it's a much better price point, especially when you factor in the discount. It's like four bucks um, per, and currently there is a promotion that... Any of the products here that you get at Sephora, you can get 10, 15, or 20% off. That runs until May 1st with the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. So again, I will link to all of these products, but if you do get them now, you will get that additional discount on top. And that is my current collection of masks. Now, I do want to let you guys know, these are not the only masks I use. These are not the only masks I have. These are just the ones that lately I find I'm gravitating the most towards. If you have any specific questions on a specific mask that's in your collection, what does it do? If you have questions on ingredients, drop them down below. Or if you're looking for a recommendation on something I might not have spoken about today, leave it in the comment section and I will try to get back to you with my best recommendations and we can go from there. I also see that there are people who comment and answer each other's questions before I even get to it. So if you're one of those people who chills in my comment section and thanks other people, I see you, I appreciate you, and thank you. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.